Okay, we, we're calling the, I'm calling this meeting Friday, January 19th meeting to order and a roll call vote, Clerk Powitz. Supervisor Hewitt. Here. Trustee Robinson. Here. Trustee Page. Here. Trustee McGovern. Here. Assessor Trowbridge. Here. LA Commissioner Young. Here. And I pledge of allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, any public comment in the room? And then public comment online. There's nobody in here right now, but there's zero public responses. Zero public responses right now. And there's nobody looking to get in or whatnot. So that takes care of public comment. Payment of bills. First one is Ansel and Glink. I'll make a motion to pay the bill for Ansel Glink that was deferred at the last full board meeting. I'll second. Thank you, um, Trustee Robinson and Trustee Page. Um, any other discussion? Was there a, any discussion about how to handle this in the future? Because I think the question with this was that we're uh, having both attorneys kind of talk and do the same thing. I, did I miss the response to that one? No, I, I just met with Jim this afternoon and we spoke and we haven't done policy yet, but we had a conversation about how to curtail this. We we need to, you know, trustees need to stop reaching out. I don't know how to put it right. We, we are trying to figure out a way to lower this by maybe putting something in place where trustees have to ask for permission or you know something a request right but nothing is we have right you know the, the standard uh, checks and balances you know and when is it appropriate to contact you know the attorneys and you know um if they can questions can be funneled through one person um because sometimes if they're funneled through me possibly I may be able to answer those, you know, mm -hmm. without having to go to the attorney, you know, so that would help reduce some costs. And you certainly don't want multiple people contacting the attorney for the same question and getting billed multiple times for the same question. So that's one of the things we can do. So um, as Trustee Page said, you know, maybe we put together kind of an SOP, you know, on how to handle that going forward. Right. And then the conversation between the attorneys um, they both have their specific roles, and I think we kind of, uh, they were overlapped with these bills. Right. So I think maybe we need to curtail and have guidelines regarding the attorneys as well. Right. Yeah, I would agree completely. Um, um, oh, yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. Um, so Trustee Robinson, because right. we're trying to follow the rules. So uh, Trustee Robinson. Well, and, and I mean, typically we have engagement letters with each firm, but I think it should be, and here is the scope of the services that we expect to utilize you for in the next year. And maybe even what a plan looks like for the next 12 months or whatever period of time with budgets assigned to it, right? We anticipate this amount of work at, in this area at this fee um, so that we can plan ahead for what that budget's going to look like. So yeah. Okay. And especially you definitely need a plan because you're the only trustees in the state that have their own attorney um, and firm. Uh, Highway Commissioner Young. Wasn't there a charge on Ansel Blink's bill for the lead ordinance? Mm -hmm. That and was. Did we get that correctly? So the process. It was passed. Um, Trustee Robinson. So the process we talked about was having get, um, the interim township administrator collect questions and resolve them. And I guess that question didn't get resolved. Didn't get it wasn't, brought forward. It wasn't raised. Okay. Yeah, I never said that, that question. Okay. Any other discussion for the Ansel Blink? Can we have a roll call vote? Sure. Trustee Robinson? Yes. Trustee Page? Yes. Trustee McGovern? Yes. Supervisor Hewitt? Yes. Okay, then next is Oldison Murphy, Frazier, and McGrath. I'll make a motion to pay the deferred invoice for Oldison Murphy, Frazier, and McGrath that was deferred at the last full board meeting. I'll second. Thank you, Trustee Robinson and Trustee Page. Any other discussion? Uh, Highway Commissioner Young. Yeah, I'm curious about the charges for the 708. Um, 
It says the amount is a cost to the township because it was in response to a question about the township's levy rates and not a cost incurred for by the home. But it says 708. And the le levy requirements for the township didn't change to me. So this is the first time that the um, township is levying for the 708 board. Right. In the past, we did not. And the board also wanted to change the rate of the levy that they that the board was the 708 board was asking for. Uh -huh. And so there was a, a question as to could the board change the levy that was being suggested, understanding that there was a new law passed in the last cycle addressing this very issue. So the answer is, is that no, the board could not change the rate that was being asked to be levied. And so that's where the, the questions arose was, how do you do a levy for the first time, among other things, when you do one with the 708, making sure that you don't have over 5% of a um, increase, because obviously this is the first time levying. So it's it's gonna be its first so from the 708. 708 board problem, would it not? They're both together. So when you look at our levy, the levy that was passed and the levy that every township passes that have a 708 board, they're combined with the supervisor's levy. I mean, and the GA levy. So you look at every single been, township. That's made in the past, and there's other townships that had 708 boards last year. So mm -hmm. they, I, I don't know what that research was. So again, the concern is why would we take anything related to the 708 board? Because it was our and especially board. Especially when he hasn't been retained by the 708 board yet. Again, it's because we were levying for the 708 levy. It was our levy to make. So the levy from the 708 board, they gave a suggestion and they gave a, gave a budget. And then our board wanted to change perhaps that number. And that was a question as to can this board legally change that levied number that was being asked. Assessor Trowbridge. Uh, I just don't think we can have it both ways. I think the, the board has uh, and has uh, been told that they can't establish the levy for the 708 board. So if if we're going to be saddled with the 708 board expenses, legal expenses, then I think the board has, it has to be consistent and the board has to be able to establish a levy for the 708 board. So if they don't, then I think the 708 board has the obligation to pay any associated costs with the 708 board. You can't intermix. And if, the, if you do, then I think the trustees, you're going to have to amend it. So the trustees have the ability, these trustees have the ability to make the budget for the 708 board. So Thank you. Can't you. Go both ways. Thank you, Assessor Trowbridge. This has actually been completely um, litigated and defined by state law. And I know that you would prefer, again, like to change state law, but that's the way state law is with regards to the boards, meaning the township board, alone decides um, that to pass our levy. This is incorporating with the, that, the understanding of what the 708 board is asking for. So this was our board, this is our board that was trying to change trying what to the 708. Consistencies of what you're, what you're asking for. That it's been brought up to the, this board that it's inconsistent to, for the township to incur the cost of a 708 issue when we have a, lead, a taxing body to which this board cannot establish their their budget. Thank so you. Therefore, therefore, to be consistent, we cannot have this board accept these expenses. Here's the thing. This board wanted to change and asked for information as to what would happen if they were to change those numbers. So if the board hadn't have decided that they wanted to change um, the 708 board's levy requirements, then we wouldn't be saddled with this. But instead, the board wanted to see if they could get, come up with a different number for that levy. And that had to have been asked because, again, this was what our levy that was required for the 708 to exist. So does anybody else so, have any other so discussion? Just to, make, just to make it perfectly clear, what you're basically saying now is that this board, according to what you just said, this board now has control over the budget and levy of the 708 board. We do not have control. That's exactly what state law says, is that we, as a entity that is the township, must pass the township 708 levy. And again, we do not have control because if we did, 
you all would have probably changed those numbers and Ross gave you all of that information at the last board meeting when we were passing the levy in December. Um, Clerk Powellitz. Who asked the question? I didn't. <laughs> okay, so is the question uh, anything to do regarding with 708 board? It is exactly about the levy that we, the Lyle Township entity, were passing. It was our Lyle Township levy. Would we be asking that question if we did not have a 708 board? We wouldn't be levying. That's obvious. So we would not be asking the question if we did not have a 708 board. The question is regarding a 708 board that you wanted to ask a question to the tune of 600 and something dollars. And this is, excuse me? The, the other entry as well. So this is regarding the 708 board and it should be on the 708 board's bill. It should not be on. That is your opinion. And the reality is, is that when the 708 board was voted on by not over 19% of the majority to do in April, bill. in sorry, in November of 2022, the levy that was announced in all of the publicity was the $1 million. And this board was asking and telling, telling everybody that they were not sure that they should pass it. In several board meetings, you all brought up the idea of changing that levy number because you all wanted to change that levy number and the, the $1 million was in danger. I did spend almost $1,000 to ensure that the community got the $1 million that over 19% of the population in our township wanted. That's a great political speech. However, if you rewind the tape, no one asked to change the levy. What they asked for was backup for the amount of money they were asking to levy. So you took it upon yourself to ask a question about the 708 the, uh, board to pass something that you personally wanted to politically and you're charging it to the township when it really is indeed a 708 question board question. So this thousand dollars or whatever it ends up being um, should really be, uh, it's a question about a 708 board part of the levy, it should be on there. If it was a question about anything with the highway commissioner, it would be on the highway commissioner bill. If it was the assessor, it would go to the township. But uh, that's, I mean, that's how we do this. And if we're Thank supposed you. to have, I'm not done. If we're supposed to have a separation to this, if it's about a 708 board, it needs to be on the 708 board bill. I'm not saying it shouldn't have been asked. I'm not saying it shouldn't have been done. That's a different topic at a different time, but this is, you just have to allocate it properly, Diane. That's really all you need to do. So it was our document that was being passed. No other document. It was our Lyle Township document. Tr uh, Trustee Robinson. So two questions. D does the 708 board have attorney representation? Yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, Barry Dixon. So it's a separate Indeed. Okay. So they go to their attorney when it is their question, and that's where I cannot go to their attorney okay. with questions. That's trust, even further. Sorry. Trustee Robinson. Well, the second part of the question was, I, I do remember when we were trying to sort out the levy, um, how should we address the levy? Because I think the first draft of the levy um, had two separate documents, one for the 708 board and the other. And I think the guidance at the time was no, because it's not really a separate taxing entity. It has to be in one document. So, yes. so I can appreciate why it had to be addressed as part of the levying process for the township. So thank you for that clarification. Thank you, Trustee Robinson. Any uh, uh, Steve I just want to make a comment? I just don't recall um rebuttaling the fact that we would change the amount at the last meeting. If you want the that videos was... of the three meetings in which we discussed the levy in which you asked for the 708 board members to resubmit their budget and make sure that you all understood both years of their budget and what at what time they were going to get um, the funds that they would begin. So yes, uh, and you now them, have I got- I feel like it was a rebuttal. Um, so it was really clear that you all were not sure that you all were going to come up with the number, the exact number that they had asked for in their budget that they'd been planning for almost a year to attain and it, of which the public had full knowledge of when the levy was passed. Highway Commissioner Young, 
at the December agenda for the 708 board, it was on the agenda to appoint Ross's firm as attorney for the 708. And they changed that? They did. And the December meeting? It was in the executive session of their meeting in December. So then it came out of executive session, the motion to hire Mary Bond. I wasn't there. I was at another event at that time, but it was. How did you become aware that they hired somebody else? I was made aware after the fact that this was going to happen. So, but I'm just stepping back. So, at the time, at the time of this, Ross was still. No, oh, Ross's name was on that. I don't know. No, they believe that it would be a better um, differentiation of everything if it was a completely different firm and attorney that was dealing with the two different entities. They felt like if we were ever going to have a conflict of interest, it would automatically solve the conflict of interest. Um, their chair is the former judge and attorney. Um, and so as such, he has quite a background in the legal the legalities of what they're doing. Trustee Robinson. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Um, so it sounds like at the time, probably uh, Odelson was representing the mental health board. No, they weren't. That that was not, <laughs> it, they were not, they they previously had your Dana. That was whom they'd never ended with. Okay. So your Dana Wysocki was their attorney until they had decided Mary Dixon. Okay. I, I'm, we're talking about $1,000, which is not immaterial. We have a capability to allocate expenses. We have a budget line for mental health board. Can we allocate some percentage of this to mental health board and some to township? Because it sounds like there was a bleeding over between a township related question and the 708 related question. Figure out what that separation and just pay the bill and make an allocation of some percentage to the mental health board. Is that a, is that a compromise that I don't know? I'm, I'm just I think it's we could do it, but I just want to make sure that it makes sense within the context of all the discussion we've had. Um, and it's just a way to, frankly, to move forward, so. Okay, so um, that would mean that they, that the firm that we're working with, Odelson, would need to amend their bill further in under, in meaning that if we're saying that we're not going to pay this to them, are you saying that you don't yeah, want to no, pay no, the No, 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 I'm bill? saying, the sorry, let me finish. The township pays the bill, and when we process it internally, we allocate some percentage of these charges to our budget line for the mental health board. Is that not a is that not a mechanism? Yeah. We need to limit it, Captain. Yeah. Because we're not so out. I don't believe that that's how you can really do things. Um I would need to talk to the accountant and the attorney as to whether you're you can put an attorney fee into a 708. Right now what the issue is is right now they're taking a loan from us. Right. And so if you're saying that that we're going to pass this on in the loan form that because we're trying to pass our levy. That would be like saying that every part of the entity, every aspect of the levy would then could then be transferred on to another entity. So if we're doing. Um, I, I don't know about the route of going down that path, but I think, you know, clearly enunciating how we're trying to manage the difference between the 708 expenses and ours um, is important from an accounting perspective. Um, interim manager, Jim, uh, do you have any thoughts on this? Well, from my perspective, there's, there's two issues here. One is who incurred the expense and what's the subject matter of the expense? So the expense was occurred by the township because the township contacted the attorney for the question. It wasn't anybody related to the 708 board that made the inquiry. So it wasn't them that initiated incurring the cost. You know, subject matter about the question was the 708 board. So it seems to me that it would be, you know, in this instance, a, a township's expense. Um, because the expense wasn't initiated and incurred by the 708 board. So now, as you said, if the 708 board has their own attorney, 
if somebody from the 708 board were to contact their attorney, that would be their expense. And if the subject matter of that expense was something pertaining to the township, it would still be their expense because they initiated and incurred that expense. Thank you. Any other discussion? Yeah. Follow it? I, I think the, the first part is he, he did the work. He deserves to be paid. That's the first part. The second part is what I thought I was hearing Trustee Robinson say is, do, do, do we not have a mental health line on our budget? Uh, uh, you know, on our past budget here that then this could be put into the mental health section of that is a possibility. Um, I'm not sure I, that's another one. The, I'm not sure I completely agree with, with what you're saying just for the fact that if we as a township continue to ask questions to our attorney regarding the 708 board, um, it's almost circumventing or a way of getting around putting uh, costs to the 708 board and incurring it onto the township because we're not doing it the right way. I would suggest to you, uh, you know, Supervisor Hewitt, that the right thing to ha have done was to reach out to the 708 board and let them talk to their attorney to find out what the what the protocol is for this because they have the attorney to know this unless you're suggesting that the 708 board's <laughs> portion of the levy is really part of ours so the question was passing. No, that was my question are you suggesting that the 708 board portion of the levy is our part is our levy if you look at the document that we passed it was our Lyle township document it was our Lyle Township levy. In there, there was three funds, a general assistance fund, mm -hmm. a township fund, and a 708 fund. Okay. So, every so in our document, which we had to pass, that was what we were asking for advice on. So do we have any other more discussion? So, so the cost incurred on that levy that we turned in is completely the township's levy. Right. Yes. So anything that we've increased or added is part of the township levy. Yes. And from a okay. budgetary perspective, the only budget line that we have in the 708 is a loan. It's not uh, expenditure. It is a loan that will be paid back. Any other discussion? Highway Commissioner Young. Yeah. And, and the original bill that he sent, there was a line item that pertained to my erroneous uh, accusations of the insolvency of the general assistance. It was insolvent. Um, and I'm not done with his comments with respect to that letter. I think that's totally unprofessional. And I think it's almost slanderous that we would put something in a bill like that that is disclosed. So you have a further Any other discussion? No, I'll just I'll just uh, uh, reflecting on what the interim township administrator said. I do agree. The mental health board did not have a business relationship with, with this firm, Adamson. We, we, the township, asked the question, so it's a, it's a township charge. So, yeah, we, I don't think there is a justification to allocate any percentage of it to the mental health board because they hadn't approved that expense. So, um, thank you. Appreciate your perspective. And we should stop asking these questions exactly. when it's, uh, it's... regarding 708. Would you agree? Supervisor Hewitt, that you should stop asking questions regarding the 708 board to our attorney? Clerk Polowitz, what needed to happen was that you all needed to be educated as to whether you could change <laughs> the amount of the levy. That wasn't the that question was that we part had of the as new a law. And frankly, it was our levy that needed to be amended. So Again, could I tell you with you saying that it's our levy, you have a lot bigger problems with our levy that includes all of it. So we could talk about that later. Or okay. should I talk about that now? Um, you just went over 5%. Thank and you. We did not well. have a truth in taxation for it if it's our levy. Thank so you. The, the question again is that would you agree that you will not? Ask 708 board questions to our attorney. 
when it comes to our levy, I'm going to make sure that I continuously make sure that our levy is properly passed. Um, when it okay. comes to 708 questions, they can ask their own question, but when it comes to the Lyle Township, I'll ask the attorney if we need help with something like our levy. And one more time, no one asked to change the levy. Uh, the only thing that people asked for this board asked for was back up for the proof of asking for $1 million. That's the only thing that was asked for. Nobody asked anything of the attorney or anything else. They just wanted the budget and specific reasons of what that million dollars was being spent for because I know because I initiated this conversation because they needed to sign off on it. I felt that they needed to know where this million dollars was being spent for when they get questions from the public of why are we spending a million dollars, they are able to answer this thank intelligently. You. Thank yeah, you. I'm not quite done. You could say thank you in the middle of me talking, but that is not the proper way to run a meeting. You're going in a repetitive way, and frankly, at this no, point, after I think I'm making the third it clear. time, then you're, you're the interrupting rule, me. Every then we can time. actually have a shorter time. That's how and this is why we go into very long meetings. So, Supervisor Jewett, frankly, we are all raising our hands. We're all doing what we're supposed to do for the for the no, rules, not, but, but you keep interjecting when you're answering things that we are talking about and interrupting the conversation or the the statements that people are making. So I think the way you're handling this is making everything longer. And I will stop. Any other discussion? Or can we go to a roll call? I just like to ask one last, one last question. I think it comes down to something very, very simple. Are you are you accepting the commingling of funds between two different entities, or are you willing to acknowledge you made a mistake by asking the attorney a 708 question? Which, when, which which is it? Are you are you for commingling funds, or are you did you make a mistake? Assessor Trowbridge, you're asking a question that is obvious in so many different ways that. It's very, very clear that I don't believe in commingling uh, two different entities' funds. We are, you have a 708 um, line item, with which is very clear in our budget that it is, and everything must be clearly delineated as to what the 708 board is spending money on. If you had and paid attention in those three meetings where the discussion was, could we change and could you all change the amount of the levy? That was thoroughly discussed. If, if you want all of the details of, and you can watch those videos in which the, the numbers were being asked if they could be changed. So in order to make sure that the public got the funds that they had overwhelmingly asked for, for this one topic, I needed to make sure that the levy that we were doing was done properly. Um, Highway Commissioner Young. Well, I'm glad you're for not co mingling the funds, but I wish you would have done that with general assistance. And, and I instructed staff not to transfer money when it was supposed to be transferred because the general assistance fund didn't have the money. Any other discussion? And a motion and a roll call vote, please. Trustee Robinson? Yes. Trustee Page? Yes. Trustee McGovern? Yes. Supervisor Hewitt? Yes. Is there a motion for a concerta? Make a motion to pay the invoice for concerta that was deferred at the last full board meeting. I'll second the motion. Thank you, Trustee Robinson and Trustee Page. Any other discussion? The only, I have one question only. Why is why did it take this long to come? This this dog bite occurred in October. Why did it take until January for it to come about the billing? Um, the reason why is partially because Gerald was the person that was getting those bills. Apparently, it did not come through until we had a new, uh, until it, it took longer than it it should have. Thank you. So, any other discussion? Yes. Kirk Pollux. Um, I would just suggest to you that this would have never been delayed um, or pulled from the audit if there was proper communication prior. We would have never even questioned probably any of them if we knew what was happening ahead of time. So this was a lot, this meeting, all this conversation, the work that 
uh, our, our township administrator needed to do. Um, and all the conversation did not need to happen if we had just had communication back when. Totally agree. That's why you all need to have a moment, uh, uh, several hours prior to the meeting so that you can see the audit of expenditures. You all had all of the expenses um, the, the Friday before the meeting for the first time in a while. And frankly, several people already had some of those bills weeks in advance. When did you know about this? When did you know about this incident? The time at the, at the moment it happened, but if again, if the um, operation manager hadn't been let go, um, right after this had been- He wasn't been, let go in No, he wasn't let go And it wasn't immediately billed. So well, when you see that it wasn't yeah, immediately billed and it wasn't, the, his incident was properly handled at the time. Well, it, my point is, if there was some communication very much like the van, that you know, incident that happened, if there was communication back when it happened, just an email out, heads up, there was this, there was this issue. You didn't even need to go into detail, you, you know, but just so you know, this is what happened. So the board is aware of what's happening at the township. That was a pretty big. Communication. So we had an operation manager, which did a monthly report. It could have been in the monthly report. That wasn't, again, there was a lot going on that month and he was definitely overworked. I wasn't talking about him. Okay, about so him. does any any other discussion for the concert trust bill? And then a roll call vote, Clerk Tolloway. Robinson. Yes. Trustee Page. Yes. Trustee McGovern. Yes. Supervisor Hewitt. Yes. There a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.